more news. Keep things interesting. Um, let's see. A 31-year-old prison inmate in Portland, Oregon, is suing the state because it refuses to provide him with dental floss, a policy which he says has caused him stress because he is powerless to fight the evils of tooth decay. Prison officials say that floss can be used as a weapon or to, quote, cut through bars. Yeah, I see that happening all the time in those good prison movies. All right, here's something else interesting. Um, a former student of the University of Idaho is suing the school for $940,000 over an incident in which he fell through a third-story window while mooning his friends. He is claiming supervisory negligence. Yeah, he's a man after my own heart. All right, right now we got some live quicksand. This isn't really live, it's just a recording of something that was live. Name of the tune is Clean Slate. Uh, we should be some expecting something new from Quicksand in the near future. I guess they're in the studio recording now and follow up their smash record. All right, this is uh, Clean Slate. Thank you. You're listening to Music to Soothe Your Jangled Nerves, WMCR. This is Scal. Right now I'm going to play some seaweed. Tacoma, Washington's finest. Okay, that was therapy. And that's what I need at 1 o'clock in the morning. On a Sunday, early Sunday morning. Um, if anybody's listening out there. I'm going to take you back, take you way back, let's see, to 1982, I was 10 years old then, and I loved this song. Okay, that of course was Adam and his aunts, I guess. I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, another long time ago, when I was a little kid, one of my favorite TV shows was Different Strokes. Maybe this will bring back some memories. Now the world don't move. Alright, that was Burn. Straight hardcore from New York City. Right now, as I use my most monotone voice possible, right now we have some more words of infinite wisdom from my man Scott Frosch. Dude, you guys got to hear about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking over this thing. Check this out. Okay, these two kids. He said check it out. Check this out. These two six-year-old kids from Hampshire, uh, west of London, they demolished a neighbor's house and said afterwards they were copying some television program on which kids tear through a model house in search of prizes. <laughs> the kids broke... Englishman! Damn Englishman! <laughs> the kids... PC, Scott. Hey. <laughs> Let him finish the story. Anyways, as I was saying, the two kids broke glassware through a television set to the floor and broke furniture because they wanted to have some fun. Now, that sounds like... That sounds like that sounds to me just like the country that spawned Morrissey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing kids, better to do except break stuff. These kids are punk to the tilt. They're only six years kills. old, man. Props for the, those yeah. kids. All right, this is a punk rock song. It's going out to those kids. All right, it's the Figs. They're from Saratoga. Yeah. They're cool guys. They played in Poughkeepsie a year ago, and I was the only person there besides three other people. Dude, I was there, man. You were not there. You came, and it was almost over. I saw them there once, though. Th last year? Yeah, I saw them. It was almost over when you got Yeah, like me and Kevin saw him, yeah. All right, well, all right, you're kind of cool. <laughs> all right, here's the song. Sixteen-year-old grandson got lost returning from a fishing trip and wound up 900 miles from home in the, at the Arctic Circle. Police in the Norwegian town of Kirkenes said the older man was being treated for exhaustion from, <laughs> for driving for three days nonstop. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. 
I know where I'm going. <laughs> the pair stopped at the town only because the gra grandfather fell asleep at the wheel <laughs> <laughs> and crashed his car into a ditch. <laughs> that guy was asleep at the switch. <laughs> the original side of the... <laughs> Get it together, my friend. This is ridiculous, man. <laughs> it's real. The original site of the fishing trip had been 60 miles away from their home. They ended up 900, 900 miles, miles away from... I'm not lost. This is the way we came. I'm not turning oh, around. Come on. <laughs> All right. On, on that note, we're going to play uh, some ska punk. Hey, what's the uh, request number here, by the, the way? The request number is 31. extension 2132. And it's if you're calling from off campus, it is five seven five three one three two. If you're calling from someplace that's cooler than this, then you're stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, this is a ska punk crossover. It's the Voodoo Glow Skulls, and they make the muddy muddy boss tone look like a bunch of whips. <laughs> oh, that's not wow, it. that's not it. That's a pretty hardcore statement, Scott. Uh... <laughs> Wait, where is it? It's uh, it's track. Four, go. Radio dispatch, do you know who this is? No, who is this is? There you go. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that was the new song by the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones from the station that plays the best new music first. 90.1 WMCR. Scott, uh, as you know, uh, it's getting a little bit late. Uh, I'm going to have to be taken off. I think uh, you're going to be running the show from from here on out. What do you got to say? Uh, well, I just think it's great. You know, my first show of the season. You guys helped me out. Yeah. Hearing a little of a shaft in the background is going to put me in the mood to play another hour and a half of punk rock and hardcore for Marist College. Gonna I'm going to yeah, mac out to... Oof, are you? Dude, I'm not even in the same room as you. So. <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> That would have to be Jeff. It's a good thing we're the last show of the night or people would be complaining. Think no one's yeah. listening or we'd be in big trouble. So, uh, you, do you think this show's going to be a success or what, Scott? Uh, this, this show's going to go over like a lead balloon. Yeah. It's gonna go down I don't know. I'm about as... <laughs> yeah, this show's going to go down like the Challenger. No, man. <laughs> that, I'm about that. as frustrated as a high school graduate trying to read a school, trying to read a newspaper. Over the fact that nobody's called up and requested any songs, but, uh, yeah. you know, it's not, it's I, casual. I, 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 I also feel like a cheese-eating high school student being in this cheesy place. All right. Enough, enough disrespect. Okay, well, we're taking off, so right. anybody that's listening, have a good weekend. See, see you at the compound. Maybe, uh, yeah, see you at the compound. had died about a week earlier from a heroin overdose. I'll turn the page here. And, you know, that's I guess that's how things go. I mean, somebody dies, you're a heroin junkie, chuck them out the window, I guess. That's how it works. How about this one? Um, uh, police in Madison, Wisconsin, reported that a man dressed in only a diaper and a garter belt chased two women down a city street in June, begging them to spank him. Well, you never can know about those... Midwestern towns. Um, right now, we're going to play a little bit of Doc Hopper, a cover tune. Maybe you can recognize it. I'm sure you'll recognize it if you grew up in the mid-80s. Here we go.